When the Citroen C4 Cactus launched in 2014, it was the start of a new style-led era for the French car maker which marked a return to its trademark quirkiness of old. The car's Marmite effect side air bumps, which have since made their way across much of the range, became synonymous with a new time for Citroen under the tenure of Brit boss Linda Jackson. While the styling was divisive, the model was a modest success for Citroen, outselling its more sensible sibling, the C4, in Europe. This revised model, almost four years later, brings a couple of notable changes. Fiercely, those air bumps are resigned to the side sills, a result of customer feedback says Citroen, but still a disappointing step away from its previous characterful design which set it apart from so many rivals. Secondly there's its advanced comfort program, which includes a host of technologies intended to emphasize a feeling of reassurance, comfort and calm, according to Citroen. Most notably, that means it has advanced comfort seats with adjustable lumbar support and an extra layer of foam plus its progressive hydraulic cushions suspension setup which promises a magic carpet effect. The suspension adds a pair of secondary hydraulic dampers into each coil sprung suspension corner, replacing the traditional rubber bump stops at the top and bottom of the wheel travel. Because the damper progressively cushions the wheel travel at the two extremes of movement, engineers have specified more comfort-oriented springs and dampers for the main job of isolating the car body from the road. The car also gets a revised front end with extra chrome and a prominent Citroen double chevron badge designed to look more upmarket. The C4 Cactus has always been a tricky car to position against rivals. Despite Citroen's earlier insistence that the Cactus sibling, the C4, had a place alongside it, it has now confirmed that the C4 Cactus will replace the aging C4, at least in the mid-term, with a new C4 likely due in 2020. So, for now, traditional hatchbacks such as a Peugeot 308 or Volkswagen Golf are its most obvious rivals, though given its very slightly elevated ride height, there's crossover, see what I did there, with compact SUVs, too. We're driving the three-cylinder 1.2-liter 128bhp unit, the Puritic 130, with six-speed manual, which is already used in many PSA group cars including the C3 Aircross and Peugeot 308, but only makes its debut on the C4 Cactus now. There are two more engine choices, the lesser-powered 108bhp Puritic 110 is likely to be the biggest seller in the UK, and there's also a 98bhp Bluedy 100 diesel. The most notable change are the progressive hydraulic cushions, intended to absorb and dissipate energy from bumps so there's no rebound. In truth, that claim is a stretch, in bad, speed bump ridden urban situations, there was still plenty of impact, particularly on the rear axle. But, broadly speaking, this revised Cactus C4 is definitely more floaty than the last, making it a comfortable, soft ride for the majority of our test road, which harks back to what old Citroens such as the CX, were known for. It still doesn't feel damned as effectively as a VW Golf but it does have a character of its own, and one that will appeal to plenty of people, which is commendably rare in the family hatchback class. Another floaty element, the steering. Citroens aren't known for their direct, accurate steering, and this one's no different. The C4 Cactus has vague though pleasantly light steering, but does need plenty of input on anything other than dead straight road something you don't find in a Golf and, to a lesser extent, in a Peugeot 308. Thallied with glitchy gear changes, particularly lower down the range, it's not awfully intuitive for tricky urban driving, but higher up the gears, there's a pleasant sweep from 4th to 5th to 6th. Performance is more than sufficient with this new 128bhp addition to the range, which achieves 0 to 62 miles per hour in 8.7 seconds there was less torque from go than expected for a punchy 128bhp 3 cylinder, but it held its own on a varied route and was never left wanting. Noise from that engine and elsewhere was also minimal, another desired effect from Citroen as it attempts to make a person's time in a Citroen as calm and relaxing as possible under its advanced comfort badge. Where that comfort tag really rings true is the seats. Staying true as it can to the original C4 Cactus bench like seats, these are big, wide and comfy. On our 3 hour drive, there was little fidgeting, the downside is less space in the center console for storage and very deep seats which affect rear leg room. The interior is simple, it has a touch of premium on the dashboard, but below that it's mostly cheaper plastics. The minimal design is common and different though it borders on feeling too sparse, as if there isn't enough technology befitting of a modern car to play with. 
that's because most of it works through the touchscreen. The PSA Group 7.2 and touchscreen infotainment system has long been criticized for being glitchy. But it keeps improving and testing the touchscreen today, there was very little delay in reaction. For many, the temperature controls on the screen are a step too far, and indeed, it does seem less natural than more traditional buttons and dials. We drove the top of the range flare, one of two trims, which gets the kitchen sink then some. It includes sat-nav, rear parking sensors and reversing camera, panoramic glass roof, tinted rear windows plus a host of safety technologies including lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring and reversing camera.